we're starting with some apples, and these are local apples that a dear friend of mine picked. And I have most of them chopped already. You can use any kind of apples and any kind of pears. And it's just, this recipe is especially wonderful for pears and apples that you have forgotten about <laughs> that end up in the back of your refrigerator because um, when you're cooking them they just they get soft and if they start out soft all the better. So I'm going to use my beautiful heart-shaped pot because it's just that kind of day. All the apples and pears go in and I'm going to add to this some dried unsulfured apricots and that adds some really interesting flavor and then what also happens is when you rehydrate dried fruit like what this is you end up with a really nice texture it's great to add just enough water to cover so you can see in here that the water is well below the surface of the fruit and, um, and that's all because the fruit will release its own juices. A little bit of cinnamon will go in right towards the end. We're going to let this fruit simmer for about 15 minutes and we'll test it and see. We'll come back in a little bit. But in the meantime, while that's cooking, I want to show you our next step. These are some cashew pieces, raw cashew pieces. And we're going to have them soaking in some water. And really what this does is it softens them up so that they become easier to blend. And we'll be adding some dates to this, and that's going to be the topping for our cream. The next ingredient that we're adding are these medjool dates. And medjool dates, to me, are nature's caramel. They have little pits inside, and so we're just removing the pits. And these are so soft that they don't even actually need to be soaked. Most of the ones that you'll get in the natural food store should be really soft and you can also use the neglet dates but they're it's just they're not as luscious and what I love about these medjool dates is literally if you take a bite of them it really does taste like caramel I'm salivating <laughs> so what I'm doing is just setting up the uh, the next part which is going to be for the cashew cream and I can hear that the, um, the apples are simmering with the pears. I can hear them boiling and that's great. Really these only need to cook for about 15 minutes or so. And um, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test them to see how they're looking. Oh, this is beautiful. So the, everything is boiling nicely and there's plenty of water in there, which is nice. The apples and pears really release their juices. And See, that's looking beautiful. I'm going to add a few more of these apricots. And essentially what we're going to do is once everything is soft and ready, I'm going to blend them in the, in the blender. And when the dried fruit is rehydrated, like I was saying earlier, it gets very luscious and creamy. So it smells really delicious in here. And I can see that the apples and the apricots and pears are nice and soft. I'm gonna turn off the flame. And now I am adding some cinnamon. And to get all of the details of this recipe, you can go to nourishingwisdom.com. You'll see it on the bottom of the screen. So now we have some cinnamon in there. I'm going to let this cool for a moment. And as soon as it's cool, I am going to blend it with an immersion blender. And in the meantime, I'm going to make our cashew cream. So I'm going to put the dates and the cashews into this high-speed blender. You can absolutely use your own a regular blender, but you might need to add more liquid and a little bit more um, you might have to stop and start it a few times just to not stress the blender out too much. And what I'm doing is trying not to get too much of the water, but we'll be adding some of the, the liquid from the cooking in here to help sweeten it. I'm going to add a little bit more water to help it blend. 
And now really what we're going for is a velvety smooth consistency of the mixture of the cashews and the dates with the water. So periodically you might have to stop and start the blender to just possibly add more water, scrape down the sides, and eliminate any air bubbles. And it's worth being patient for because it's the texture that just rocks this out of the park. So I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a little bit of vanilla extract. And we are almost at the velvety stage. So I'm going to blend it one more time. And then I'm going to give you a nice look of the texture that we're really going for. So this is the texture that we're really going for, is that it just is very creamy. So the cashew cream is ready, and this has cooled down. It's still plenty hot. So now you can serve it just like this if you like the texture, or you can blend it, which I love to do, because I, I tend to really love puddings and pudding, pudding textures. So this is a hand blender, and uh, very easy to find. It's an immersion blender. And really, it has very sharp blade, and so it's just going to um, puree everything really quickly. Okay. So I just, I like to move it around as I'm doing it, and I certainly don't want to ever touch the bottom of this pan because I don't want to scratch it. And you could either leave some chunks in there, or you can puree it completely. A beautiful way to serve this is in layers, and you can start with layering it any way you like. You can start with the cashew cream, which is how I'll do it today. It's so velvety and soft. See, these were the cashews, and when they're blended well, it's very, very creamy. And the other thing about this dessert is that it's so rich that a little dab will do you. And now I'll put a layer of the pudding. And you can see a beautiful layer. And now the vanilla cashew cream. So you can see how beautiful this is. You can put anything on top. You can even put a cherry on top. But can you see the layers of the cashew cream, the apple, and then the cashew cream again? Wow. It's warm, which I love on this wintry day. It is so sweet, and did you notice there's no sweetener in it? There's no sugar whatsoever. It's all the natural sweetness from the fruit. The cashew cream is divine. It is creamy and vanilla-y. Here's to you. Mm. Tune into next week's show for more yummy treats. Have a beautiful day. Mm.